here you can see a direct comparison between how would a rdbms and a nosql database differ so here the difference is you can see in the rdbms we can see a data is stored in a relational model with rows and columns whereas in nosql the data is stored in a host of different databases each with different data storage models so very important point what i want to <clears throat> make sure you understand is when we talk of a rdbms be it the mysql be it the sql server be it the oracle be it any one all of them follow a same approach the same storage mechanism the same query mechanism it's just their different products the technology is same the underlying principle is same so if i have a thing in uh, say oracle and i want to move it to a sql server it's very easy because the underlying principle is same but when we come to the no sql data stores all of the no sql systems have different underlying mechanism all of them have different storage mechanism different processing mechanism so we can't say that mongodb is same as cassandra both of them will have some similarities but again the underlying principles through which it's storing things it's processing things will be different so that's what the point number 1 says the point number 2 says that it follows a fixed schema as i told you so in a a relational database store i need to have suppose there is a column there is a table which has id name age sex salary all the rows has have to have all the five columns if there is no value for some particular row the null has to be added in those particular fields whereas if you see the no sql it follows a dynamic schema it means you know we don't need to really worry about the schema if the first record has 3 columns it's fine if the second record has 300 columns it's fine if the fourth record has only one column even that's fine so rdbms supports vertical scaling i guess i've already talked about what is vertical scaling increasing the capacity of a single machine and no sql <clears throat> supports horizontal scaling i've also talked about how does horizontal scaling takes place in mongodbs or the hadoops or other no sql stores here comes a new thing called rdbms has acid atomicity consistency isolation and durability so all these four properties will be covered in rdbms so again all of us are so much experience into it but again i have found i have been teaching you know this hadoop mongodb from the past i guess 2 to 1/2 years and in each class of mine i at least find 70% of the people who are not very sure of what is this at the asset properties so i will give some time to the asset properties as well so a stands for atomicity what it wants to say is every transaction which will happen will be atomic it will either happen fully or it won't happen what i want to say is if i'm transacting in a atm i want to withdraw 500 rupees and suppose the balance is 300 rupees it should tell me that hey boss you don't have balance which you want to withdraw so i won't be able to lend you any cash so it should not do like you know okay because there is 300 rupees in the balance it should give you 300 and then say uh, the more 200 which you want the balance is not there so it should either do the transaction fully or it should not do the transaction at all <clears throat> so that's something which is atomicity the second thing is consistency so by consistency what we want to say is so the data should be consistent all across so when i say all across so if there are four systems if there is one system in which the data says the balance is 4000 the same balance should be reflected all across all the systems they should not show uh, different data so the data should be consistent across all the nodes so that's consistency i stands for isolation what isolation says if there are two transactions which are happening those two transactions should happen in a manner that they should not know that the other transaction is happening so this should happen in full isolation the one transaction should not know that the other is happening and the other transaction should not know that the other is happening and the b is for durability what durability says that in case any failure happens the system should be able to make a rollback 
So RDBMS, be it any RDBMS, be the SQL Server, be the MySQL, be the Oracle, all of them have to follow the asset properties. And when we talk of the NoSQL, it is not asset compliant. So what I want to say over here is that when we talk of NoSQL, So, if we have acid in the RDBMS, so this is SQL and this is no SQL. So, this is acid and this is completely opposite, which is base. I'm not very sure whether this is there in the slides or not, but as the name is completely opposite, the properties as well is completely opposite. And what is the meaning of base? Base is nothing but basically available soft state eventual consistency. So <clears throat> What it wants to say is that the data should be basically available to me all the time. There is something called soft state and my system should be eventually consistent. So let me spend a bit more time to explain you how this happens. Suppose this is Delhi. This is the Delhi node. And suppose This is the Bangalore node. Correct. Now, there is an employee table over here which is having 50 records. And this data is synchronous with the Bangalore data as well. So it means the same system can be accessed through both the locations as well. So in a 50 records, so I ran an update statement in that employee table. I ran an update statement on this employee table. And I changed all the sex of all the people from male to female. I made all the sex of all the people made from sex to female. Now, after I run the update statement, I want to do a select star from employee over here. I want to do a select star from employee. Now what I will see is, I'm still getting the old data. The data is not updated. Again, put an enter, again old data. But again, after I put the third enter, I see the new data. So what it wants to say is, that my system is not strictly consistent. The moment you make some changes, the changes won't be seen across all of the places. It is not. Rather than this is eventually consistent. And by the time both of the systems become synchronous with each other, the state in which both of these remain is called soft state. So what is soft state? Soft state is the state in which nodes remain till they become synchronous. So this is exactly the opposite of SQL and exactly the opposite of asset. 